Hey guys, and welcome back to the Laffy Taffy channel. And today I'm going to be explaining why the Preservation Project is quite possibly one of the most important Super Mario 64 ROM hacks of all time. Now, the reason I think this is because this year, 2020, there's been a creepypasta that's come out. It was known as Every Copy is Personalized or the Wario Apparition. Now, this caused a lot of people to become curious of what the actual beta looked like since it was obvious that the creepypasta was fake. The Preservation Project is a very, very close interpretation of what the beta looked like. Like, you can look at beta footage and you can look at the Preservation Project and it almost looks one for one spot on. There's nothing like Easter eggs or anything. It's, I think even the developers said themselves they're not planning on adding anything extra. It's supposed to be a pretty much direct beta look i guess so i'm pretty excited to show you guys what i have in store for this video but three things to keep in mind is first of all obviously i'm in no way besides talking about the video right now affiliated with the preservation project i'm not a moderator of the discord server i'm not in the discord server i'm obviously not like one of the producers of the project or anything so don't think that too if you're in it for the wario operation no get out right now the wario operation isn't going to be in this video it's not going to be covered it's kind of not really good, to be honest. So, um, yeah. And then let's get on to the last thing, which is um, the differences between Shonskai, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, Shoshinkai, and Space, or um, Shoshinkai slash Space World and B-Roll. So as you'll see on the left right now, is B-roll, on the right is Shosuke, or however you say it. Sorry, I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong. So, the ways you can tell is by in the yellow box, indicated on both sides, you can see how in the B-roll build, there's two digits instead of just one, like there is in the Space World build. Also, you can look to the green box to see the star. In the B-roll build, um, there was no outline for the star, whereas in the, um, Shosuke, or Shoshinkai, sorry, Space World, I'm just gonna call it Space World, there is an outline for the star. And last but not least, if you look at the little cross thing, you'll see that in the, um, B-roll footage, it's a, or not footage, but in the B-roll screenshot that I have, it's a lot bigger than in the, um, Space World, which they changed for some reason, but I kinda like that change, even though the HUD didn't even stay there. And basically, you'll see that there's two power meters on the left. This is another way to tell, is if it's the colorful bright one that says POW with nothing else in it, and it's going clockwise, I think, then that one is the um, B-roll, as well as the one that's going counterclockwise but has a super basic look to it, that's also B-roll. Space World, the power meter, is basically this clock wooden looking thing, and yeah, it it looks a lot different from the B-roll build. So if you want to tell the differences, those are the main ways you can tell the difference. Now on to the actual project itself. So as you guys are going to see, on the left is the actual Space World beta, aka um, Shoshinkai, and on the right is the Preservation Project. As you can see, they look extremely similar. Um, I couldn't get a direct screenshot where both of them had the same amount of numbers and coins and stars and lives and power meter, so I tried to take the best next thing, or whatever you want to call it, which is what I have in the screenshots right now. So as you'll see, the preservation project almost makes the power meter look a bit more cleaned up, because I did clean up the screenshot of the um, Space World screenshot, I guess, before I showed it off. The um, Space World one looks a lot less clean than the um, preservation project, but I mean, still, it's cool that they cleaned up the power meter, but if they wanted to get a direct look, I think they should make it a little less wood looking and make the background a little more yellow. The numbers are pretty much spot on though. I mean, they're pixelated just like they're supposed to be in colorful. Um, the textures, the level layouts, all of those are pretty much spot on. And anything that they see, whether it be in leaks or just eyeballing it off random footage, they take that and they change it in the preservation project, which is so cool. Like, you see some mods, they just, or ROM hacks, they just stop 
after they think they're done. But no, the, the reason the preservation project keeps getting delayed so much is because they just keep going. They want it to be as accurate as possible, which is really cool in my opinion. Now, next you're going to see the next best, I guess, um, ROM hack of Super Mario 64 beta. It's supposed to be something called Doodaw's Beta Revival, and I'm going to explain it more in detail in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Doodaw's Beta Revival. This was the most accurate beta we had for eight years, pretty much. He had been working on this for a while. He, she, I'm not sure. Um, they had been working on this for a long time, and then they just stopped suddenly. Like, the numbers were accurate, the level layouts were slightly accurate, as accurate as it could be like eight years ago and then suddenly there were no more updates on the videos or anything and i mean it just looked so good it was basically the preservation project except you know f from like 2012 or something so yeah and then they stopped and then it seemed like just the preservation project decided oh well duda stopped so let me just pick up on where they left off and make it extremely better i guess so as you'll see, like I said, the textures and everything are almost perfect, except the one thing that's wrong is obviously the power meter. It's like super obvious that, um, you know, the power meter looks off. It looks like it was made in Microsoft Paint, obviously, sorry. Um, but, you know, the preservation projects did get off pretty good with that um, power meter. So um, now... After explaining the differences, kind of, between the Preservation Project and Doodall's Beta Revival, I think it's time to get into the next category. So before I even start talking Beta Revivals or whatever, just know right now that the second thing I recorded was actually from another YouTube video, so I'm sorry. I'll try to find the owner and give them credit in the description. But basically, here's a video of the Preservation Project and then the actual beta itself. They're both short clips because there's, like, no clips past 15 seconds of the beta. Unless it's, like, the actual Space World footage where it's, like, recorded in front of a TV and you can't see or hear anything. So, like I said, um, just, you know, accept those for the way it is, I suppose. And, um, yeah, I'm not even going to interrupt during this footage. So, you guys can just watch the footage without, um, you know, having to hear my voice in the background. <laughs> des combats avec des boss pour passer d'un monde à l'autre dans des séquences féeriques. So yeah, as you could or maybe could have not seen the um preservation project, the physics, the music, the sound effects are all extremely accurate and faithful to the actual um Space World beta itself, alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it. So um it's no surprise, really. It's like the best beta recreation out there, and it's widely known. So, um, I think this might be the end of this video, because I don't want to extend it for longer than it has to be. But just know the preservation project needs to keep going. I have a feeling the owners aren't just going to cancel it anyway. But the preservation project is one of the best ROM hacks for Super Mario 64. Like, it's inarguable i don't know how else you want to say it you can't argue it like it is definitely one of the best at least beta recreations out there so with that being said um let's just hope no leaks come out for um the preservation project or they might actually can it um and let's hope no one else ruins it like 95x and maybe i'll make another video talking about 95x but yeah, 95X kind of ruined Preservation Project because it basically leaked the exact thing that Preservation Project was and changed a slight few things up. So, um, like I said, let's just hope nothing like that happens again. And let's just hope and see and wait when the Preservation Project comes out. If you guys want to see more like in-depth videos of me talking about the betas or the Preservation Project itself, or, you know, any new betas or anything like that, let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy your Christmas. And I'll see you guys next time on the Laffy Taffy channel. Cheers, mates!